I took a previous year paper, gave it an attempt, and uh, analyzed it I used by just uh, subject tests, and that helped me with a lot of. There were also articles about um, why you should write Gate, what PSUs accept Gate, what yes, universities yes. accept Gate. That helped a lot. Correct. Hello students, welcome to the next episode of Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight and in this episode I have Sriram with me, All India Rank 9 in Computer Science and Engineering and in this show we are going to listen to his success story, to all the pains that he has gone through, what are the efforts he has made to get up to a single digit rank in the gate examination, also what Sriram is looking forward to, all his aspirations we are going to listen. So first of all Sriram, welcome to the Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight and heartiest congratulations from the entire team of Baiju's for such a big success. So before we start off anything about the preparation journey Sriram, I would like uh, you to mention about yourself to the audience, where do you belong from, what have been, what have you been doing by this time and etc. Hi everyone, my name is Sriram, I am from Hyderabad. And uh, I have done my bachelor's in uh, engineering from uh, Birla Institute of Technology, Science, Technology and Sciences Pilani. It's Pilani. And uh, I'm a 2021 pass out. I've worked as a software engineer in Wells Fargo for a couple of years, close, close to one and a half years, before deciding to uh, go for a master's and uh, give Kate an attempt. All right. So you're working as a software developer for around one and a half years. Yeah. All right. So I quit my job in December. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when uh, did you work? You started immediately after graduation, the job. Yeah, that's right. And you were working in which location? Hyderabad. And you belong to Hyderabad also. Yeah, yeah. So that must have been a comfortable zone for yeah, you. Yeah, it was very comfortable. But then, uh, you know, why did you want to move out of that comfortable zone and why do you want to give the gate examination? Was this your first attempt? Yeah, this is my first attempt. No, no attempt in uh, college time. No, no. Right. So then, then, then you, even it's a big decision because, you know, when you're, when you have been working, yeah. Anna, so, you know, suddenly going into study zone, taking yeah. that as a challenge is also a big decision. So, what made you motivated to GATE? Why you wanted to quit job and come to GATE preparation? So, during my engineering, during my bachelor's, I never uh, thought that I would be doing a master's. Mm -hmm. I, I would want to be doing a master's later. So, I always thought that whatever I was learning in my undergrad, I would be using it to the fullest in my mm -hmm. job. But that wasn't the case. <laughs> so, I missed a lot of things that I was doing in college. I mm -hmm built a compiler in my third year oh. I so there was a lot of computer science stuff going on mm. I was missing a lot of that in my job so I thought uh, masters might be a good way to get back into things right that's the reason I went for I decided to go for right. masters so now when you're looking into masters what is your preferred college and where are you looking I'm at? looking only for colleges in India and Singapore okay. so I've applied for a couple of colleges there in right. Singapore okay. and uh, I'm applying for IIC Bangalore and IIT Bombay and uh, mostly these top two choices India. are there for computer yeah. science and at this rank most likely you are going to get whatever you want finally you have to take a call where you want to go up I hope so, so uh, for masters you are choosing specific CS specialization or something else yes I I am interested in artificial intelligence All so right. I am looking at courses uh, specializing in that oh great it's a, it's an emerging field and there's a lot to do in that and exactly. you can really have a great career in the ai these days Definitely. right so uh, talking about your preparation journey sri ram can you describe from where did you focus the concepts and as you mentioned you had a small preparation journey maybe around right. four to five months so i believe you must have been really smart in your approach because you know in four or five months if you need to cover gate syllabus you need to know point to point where to target how to target so tell us right. about your approach from where you focus the concepts from where you practice and etc right so as soon as i uh, made a decision made the decision to write gate i took a previous year paper gave it an attempt and uh, analyzed it i used that to understand what my strong concepts are strong subjects were what my weak subjects were right. and then i chalked out a plan so so i know i knew i only had 4 months mm. i reserved 1 month for revising everything and I identified some uh, five to six topics that uh, five to six subjects that I needed thorough preparation in. So I allotted ten to fifteen days for each of them, and uh, I was still in touch with most of the at least majority of the computer science concepts because I was working in uh, right. in a relevant role. So yeah, that was my plan. I um, from time to time I kept giving uh, full length mock tests and subject wise tests and. 
that I use that to shape my uh, preparation. So great, great thing to know that you started by analyzing what examination yeah. is looking into. What is the level you noticed by PYQs? Exactly. And with the PYQs, you might have also come into idea that what is the weightage distribution where you need to focus yes. more. Yes. Right. And then uh, the best thing is you made a definite plan, you know, day by day plan. Ki what you need to do in the three months. One right. month is dedicated for revision because right. at the end, you know, final uh, 30 days is going to matter a lot. Right. right? So, a uh, great, great planning uh, to be honest. So, uh, speaking about a test series part, as you mentioned, how many te tests you actually solved, subject wise test or mock test, how many of them approximately? So, initially, after I talked about the plan, I went subject by subject. So, I did some 15 to 20 years of uh, past year questions subject by subject. And then, um, simultaneously, I gave, I think, around um, 5 to 10. Uh, Mm. Tests from Baiju's uh, test series. Okay, mock tests specifically. Mock tests. All yes. right, great. So, how they helped you in shape your preparation? Yeah, definitely. So they they cover all the subjects, all the topics, right? There's there's a good range of there's a good variability between tests, uh, one test to another. So that helped me uh, recollect any topics that I I might have missed during my preparation, and also in general uh, keep uh, giving me feedback about what. Um, what specific subjects I need to focus more on. Right. So, you know, you went with a lot of data analysis also, you know, yeah. during your preparation time. So, specifically, again, talking about the point of test series, especially mock test, how important mock tests are for a student and you know, how mock tests can help you getting a good ranking gate. What all you learn from mock test? Yeah. One thing is definitely, uh, I mean, uh, learning things is a different thing. Doing tests, doing questions on your own separately is a different thing. Doing them in a test, in a timed test is a different thing. So, I think, um, every time I gave a test, I made sure that, um, I mean, it helped me make sure that I was consciously, I was con conscious of the time I had left mm -hmm. and I tried to finish all the questions in two and a half hours so that I have, I had half an hour to go back to the questions that I couldn't solve properly right. or I had a doubt in. And, and also, uh, as I said, it helped me shape my, uh, and time Rest management also you quite learned from that ki how finally you have to manage the 180 minutes yeah, at yeah, the yeah. end uh, examination day. So during the examination day, the 4th February, I think computer science paper was conducted. So how exactly were you feeling and you were full with confidence or some nervousness was there because, you know, you just dropped out of the job willingly. Yeah. So there is a big element of risk you have taken. Definitely. So how exactly your mental state was on the exam day, maybe one or two hours before. There was quite a bit of pressure, but I think... Uh, I think I knew that was going to be there. I, I mean, we've all given uh, right, right, right. Some nervousness is there. Yeah. Huh. Some nervousness is there for, for everybody. Yeah. Right. But mostly it was school. Yeah. Because I made it a point to keep reminding myself that I have to be cool. Yeah. <laughs> I have to. Uh, otherwise, be otherwise, you know, all the efforts that you had made for the past four or five months can get yeah, spoiled yeah. easily. Yeah. If you just lo lose out of nerves that time. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, you know, previous years, as you mentioned, uh, you know, help you analyze uh, and make your plan. Hmm. So how many years PYQs normally a student or aspirant uh, must solve? I would definitely recommend doing at least 20 years, right. so 23 to 2003. I think before that, the pattern was, pattern has yeah, changed a lot. Sorry, a lot. Some subjects have changed. Yeah, themselves. but at least 15, 20 years is, uh, yeah. you know, definitely recommendable. Okay. Yeah. And you but also get uh, got a variety of practice also from that. Eventually. That's right. And you get an idea of what topics are important. What th there are some topics that are there in some preparation material which are really not relevant, but yes. they take up a lot of your time. Yes. So you can avoid that. You can avoid or maybe spend a minimum time there. Yeah. Okay, so you have to optimize your preparation accordingly. Yeah. And yeah. they also serve as a good source of source for revision. Yeah. So uh, sometimes you know things, but you can't recall them in uh, in, in a short enough time. Hmm. So when you uh, use your use the past year questions to revise, yeah. then. It's a quick way of revision. So last 30 days, what were the revision techniques? You revise the entire stuff again or through short notes or through tests? Um, I made notes for some subjects like uh, engineering mathematics, mm. which was which uh, a lot of formulas are there. Mm. I, I honestly haven't used a lot of calculus since college. Mm. Mm. So those things were very helpful. And I had some notes from college as well, which uh, lectures provided. Okay. So I used that for revision. And uh, and definitely, yeah. I went on a, a subject test spree on two two to three days before the exam. I used Baiju's uh, subjects test, and that helped me with a lot of. I mean, instead of taking the whole syllabus and revising them, it, it's enough to solve the solve 
say a 20 30 questions of a subject, subject. and so you'll recollect will everything mostly give you the crunch of the subject exactly. mostly mm -hmm. at least 90 percent you'll cover it from there yeah. right so you know you mentioned again about the baiju's exam prep test so mm -hmm. you know other than the test series any other element of baiju's held you somehow in shaping your preparation yeah i there are a lot of publicly available uh, articles that baiju's right. provides right so i use them for uh, clarifying some doubts from some from a few concepts all right, all right. etc and there were also articles about uh, why you should write gate what psus accept gate what yes, universities yes. accept gate that helped a lot correct correct because that that motivation that that clear vision has to be there yeah. you know you you are working maybe for 4 months or 8 months hmm. but you have to work with the clear vision otherwise exactly. you are always in half mind you know sometimes doing this sometimes doing that right. but i believe for the entire 4 months the journey you had you were only focused on gate no deviation here and there right average uh, studying hours during this 4 5 months Initially, it was just one to two hours a day, but then after I write, after I started writing tests, then it crept up to uh, four or five hours. All right, chalo. so Great. just because just the test itself takes three hours. Yeah, I mm. test itself, and then its analysis take another one hour or so yeah. if you have to do the complete sixty-five questions analysis. Mm. All right, any weak area you faced in the exam or during the preparation as well? Operating systems, All virtual right. memory. Okay, so you uh, you studied it then you overcome that or you left that. No, I studied it, but I am still, I still need a, some clarification on that. All so, right, all I right. use a lot of sources. I got but you, but you didn't questions. miss that at least. No, definitely. I did yeah. not leave, leave any topic. I think yeah. comprehensive coverage of all the topics is one thing that will boost your score a lot. Correct, correct. Yeah, that's what, you know. So, even if you have some hurdles, you at least yeah. go through it up to a certain level, you'll be comfortable. Maybe not right. 100 at least. Right. But exactly. leaving it makes you zero. And yeah. You don't, any question comes from that concept, you are zero on that. Right. All right. So I now was, there was once one subject, digital uh, digital mm. design, mm. that I was not very confident in. Okay. I um, I did the sequential part, but I left the um, so I did the combinatorial part, but I left the sequential part. Right. Then I realized oh there are a lot of questions coming from the subject. Huh? And then and then I gave it two days. That's it. And I was able to solve. Yeah, because all the for questions computer science, in. digital logic is uh, you know relatively easier side also because we mm. have digital as a core subject. You can say for electronics. Mm. But when we compare the level for computer science, and these days questions are also coming up more. Like this year also, I think around six marks or so came from digital logic only. I think so. Right, right. So you can't really neglect that also. Yeah, and a lot of them were on the in sim in a similar format as yes. to. Previous, no, previous year, correct. Yeah. No much variation is there in yeah. digital logic there, correct. So, you know, now looking into everything that you have spoken about, the concept, the test series part, the practice part, previous years you started with. So, you have seen this exam, all elements of this exam. Right. So, according to you, if a student is going to prepare for GATE 2024, 2025, so what are some elements, according to you, that they must strictly follow to get the best rank, especially a single digit rank like you? Okay, I think there's no one plan that fits everyone. Yeah, but, of course, there's huh. one or two suggestions that they can take from you. Huh, okay, so one thing I'd say is I saw a lot of people who say that I'll give one attempt in my third year and then another in my fourth year. So, but the problem with that is you spend a lot of time, you learn a lot of things. And when you, I mean, when you are giving one attempt half-heartedly, then you forget all those things until the next attempt. So one thing I suggest is if when you are even if you are giving even if you have three four months, I'd say give your uh, hundred percent to it, and believe that you are going to get a good rank. You are going to get a good score. That will that will take you uh, further. Right. So one thing I'm listening from many of the toppers this year is that number one thing is it's about the belief. Right. Of course, concepts and practice will play a role. But unless and until you believe yourself, you're not going to grasp the concept. You're not going to solve the questions with efficiency. But if you trust yourself, the efficiency automatically comes and then within less time also, you'll be able to do wonders. Definitely. Right. So, uh, it was very nice speaking with you, Sriram. Thank you. Thank you once again for joining the Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight and congratulations once again. Thank uh, you so much. hope you get uh, IAC or the colleges in Singapore, whatever your dream is Thank and you. you do your best in artificial intelligence area. Thank you so, so much. So guys, uh, this was the yet another spotlight and you have listened to Sriram, All India ranked 9 computer science in the first attempt. Although he's passed out, but for GATE it was his first attempt honestly and he has done wonders and this shows that if you are dedicated then even 4-5 months are quite good enough and if you are not dedicated, if you are just confused, maybe you spend a year also and don't get the best results. So be focused, be selective in your approach and be confident about yourself. You can also do the wonders in the upcoming year. Stay tuned to Baiju's exam prep for listening to more such inspirational stories. Thank you. Stay safe.